Why do turtles cross the road? Turtles often have to cross roads to get to and from nesting sites. Many never make it. At the Kawartha Turtle Trauma Center, Dr. Sue Carstairs makes the rounds, checking on injured and sick turtles. We all know turtles have tough shells, but their shells are no match for cars. Without medical care, most turtles hit by cars will not survive. Here, a painted turtle, recovering from a shell injury, receives antibiotics. Dr. Carstairs prepares to work on another turtle with a shell injury. This time, it's a Blandings turtle. The doctor uses epoxy to attach hooks to either side of the fracture. When the epoxy dries, she'll use a wire attached to the hooks to pull the two sides together. At that point, the tape on the shell will no longer be necessary. The next patient had two very serious problems when he arrived at the trauma center. An x-ray showed he had swallowed a fishing hook. The hook was successfully removed in surgery, but this snapping turtle is still fighting to recover from a massive shell wound. When large snappers are hit by cars, the wounds are normally very deep. Dr. Carstairs flushes out the wound with a sterile saline solution. a wound dressing and finally an adhesive pad to protect the area. It will take six months of daily care for this turtle to recover. In the wild, mother snapping turtles lay their eggs in dry, sandy locations. Injured turtles sometimes lay their eggs at the center. The center cares for the eggs and will eventually release the baby turtles, called hatchlings, into the wild. Up to 100 turtles will spend the winter healing at the Kawartha Turtle Trauma Center. Before they are returned to their homes, each turtle requires a great deal of care and volunteers are always on hand to help. The snapping turtle with its powerful jaw requires some extra special handling to ensure no one gets hurt. Many turtle species in Ontario are at risk of becoming extinct. The Kawartha Turtle Trauma Centre is working hard to protect these remarkable creatures. The goal is to return as many turtles as possible to their homes in the wild.